I'm back. Good morning, Hopkinton Middle School. This is HMS Today, and I'm your host, Mario Machin Estevez. Thank you, Ryan. We do try our best. William, that's so nice, even if I don't know what the last part means. Elise, so are you. Nathan, love the, ad- the adjective. Being vivid is cool. Mitchell, your wait is over. And Macy, thanks for letting us be part of you being happy. Now, here we go with Puppet Show Book Talk. Hello, my fellow book club lovers. It's me, Animal, the reformed non-reader. I'm so glad to be back, and so much has changed in my life since I, we last spoke. For instance, I spent a great deal of time in a dark drawer, which gave me an awful lot of time to read. Let me count how many. Hmm, one, two, three, oh, just too many books to count. But that makes me think of this great book I read called Counting by Sevens by Holly Goldberg Sloan. Side note, no relation to my favorite English teacher, Miss Sloan. <clears throat> anyway, it's a story about a 12-year-old Willow Chance, a young genius who is obsessed with a medical condition in gardens. One day, Willow comes home from school to find out that her adoptive parents have been killed. Mm. Ooh, 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 awful, in an auto accident, leaving her alone in the world to fend for herself. Now, she must try to find herself a new family while working through her loss. If you love stories that are sad all the time, you will love this book. It's an emotional roller coaster. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, PSBT. You have been missed. And what else are we missing? Minute with the Principal. Hello, Mr. Keller. Thank you, Mario. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. I'm joined today by Mrs. Allen, who's in her first year here at Hopkinton Middle School in terms of teaching in the classroom. You were uh, coaching last year, so you're teaching media literacy to grades 7 and 8, as well as coaching our robotics team. We're having a lot of fun in media literacy. It's definitely in a get up and get around type of class. We have students that are creating TV pitches. Uh, we've got some students that are creating newscasts similar to this one. And how about robotics? I know that uh, the team was just, or several teams, right, were just competing at a, a, a tournament here at Hopkinton High School. Yes. Um, tell us about that. We hosted 34 VEX IQ teams at a competition this past weekend. And um, we've got two teams that have already made it to Southern New England Regionals uh, in February. So very exciting times. That's awesome. Congratulations and thanks for all of your hard work on that. And one more thing. I'm excited to have the opportunity to debut the new HCAM candy-filled water cup. This one is the first one that will be delivered, and it's going to Delaney Doyle. Delaney, congratulations. You'll be hearing from HCAM. Thank you, Mr. Keller. And congratulations to the first candy-filled cup winner. Now we return to another segment of Showcase, which was my idea, by the way. So I hope you'll enjoy it. All right. So I am Mrs. Brummett, teaching media arts, and I'm back with another art showcase for you. Um, This project I title Ordinary to Extraordinary. And the reason that I title it is that is because students are taking ordinary materials and creating an extraordinary work of art with them. So in this project, students selected a famous work of art to recreate. In this case, it is um, painter Wayne Tebow's painting called Four Ice Cream Cones. And this student, Jenny Huang, she's a sixth grader, recreated it here. Um, And the materials that she used to recreate it were first her hand, um, sort of shaped into an ice cream cone shape. And then also she took some ribbon to recreate this shelf shape that you see here. And she also used some flowers from a necklace to recreate the actual ice cream scoops. And she actually scanned all of those materials and then manipulated them to um, get them in the correct shape. From scanned materials to artwork, I like it. For the last segment today, Remember our drop everything and read? Pinkalicious! Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Getaway. A Star Wars Encyclopedia. Truly Devious. Tarzan of the Apes. Allies by Alan Grant. Drama by Raina Teller The Love and Lies of Rexana Ali. I read The Giver. Coders. The Hunger Games. So be it. Fallout. So far from the Bamboo Grove. Left out by Tim Green.
I read The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, and I highly recommend it. Now, let's hear who's having a birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. Lastly, who wants to win a new candy-filled cup? This is a picture from somewhere in the school. Have you seen this? Send us an email, and from all the correct answers, we'll randomly pick a winner for one of these. And that's all we've got. Sub by our website for more HMS Today. For more, uh, get ready for MB. Oh my God, <laughs> this is gonna take a long while. MW TP. Well, ugh. Again. Ugh. Again. Third time's a charm. I read The Boy in the Stripes, 